Hi guys, so today we're going to work on bubbles. I'm actually going to turn this light off. Now you can kind of see it a little bit. Um, so basically I did an experiment with these bubbles and I wanted to know um, what materials work the best. So I did a variety of things. I prepped some acrylic, uh, sorry, watercolor paper with black acrylic paint. Just covered the whole thing and let it dry first. So that was my first step. So just like this, it's just acrylic, uh, or sorry, watercolor paper with black acrylic paint on it. But then I wanted to try a variety of kinds of paper in case you don't have that kind of paper. So this is just regular um, mixed media art notebook paper. And I also wanted to see what would happen if you didn't have acrylic paint. And so this is black watercolor paint. And then I also had just plain black construction paper. So anyway, I wanted to try all these out to see which ones look the best because I'd never done bubbles before. So I think that the black um, prepped acrylic paper where we just painted black acrylic paint on there that works the best um, just because of the huge contrast between the light and the dark the rest of them are okay but the other one's my favorite I also wanted to try co different mediums like colored pencils um, oil pastels and paint uh, watercolor versus acrylic and see what I like the best so let me turn the light back on here so I don't know if you can tell but this is a watercolor background I did colored pencil and then the white is a white acrylic pen, so that's acrylic paint. You can't see it very well. I'll go back because no light. Um, it just wasn't very bright. I wasn't real happy with the color because the colored pencil didn't show up. Of course, the white acrylic paint shows up, but not the colored pencils. So I think if you've got black watercolor paint and that's all you've got, I would... Um, recommend trying to do watercolor on top of this and then finding some kind of a white acrylic pen or something or white acrylic paint on the top to make it look better but those those colored pencils just didn't work too well on the watercolor so then this is just regular construction paper and I tried watercolor here and it looks okay it's just not as bright as the acrylic um, here I tried Looks like I tried pastel here. So this is pastel, oil pastel, with white paint on top. And this is another one, oil pastel with no white paint on top. I just used white pastel. And this one turned out okay, but I mean, that white acrylic paint really just pops. So if you have construction paper, you can try doing colored background with pastels and oil pastels um, and colored pencils, but that white paint is really going to pop the most, the acrylic paint. So then, this is my black acrylic prepped paper, and this is acrylic paint on top. I used white with a little bit of yellow and red, and I think that looks the best so far. I did it a little bit thicker than I had wanted, um, but the pictures I was going off of had like thin layer and then almost like watered down acrylic so that might be something we could try and then for these I just did the acrylic pen and tried going over it uh, I went over this one with oil pastel and I went over this one with watercolor and I just don't like them as well as I like this so all of that said I think the best thing to do for this project is prep some paper with black acrylic paint cover the paper with it and let it dry and then the next best thing is going to be to go in with acrylic paint on top so i'm going to show you how i approach that so first i get a couple random objects that have different um, different sizes of circles okay 
So I'm starting with tape. If you got any packing tape laying around or a couple different lids, that'll work. So the inside or the outside is going to be one side circle. The inside is going to be another side circle. And then I've got this cup, my dirty paint cup. I'm going to find kind of the center of that and I'm going to do another circle just for kicks. <clears throat> so then I would get you some white paint. So I'm going to work on that real quick. Get my white paint out. White acrylic paint. Oh, it's stuck. It doesn't want to come out. Um, and then I would get some a variety of colors. You can use whatever you want, really. I used red and yellow on these, but I think if you use blue, it'll look nice too. So maybe I'll try blue this time. A little dab of blue and pink. Maybe I'll do blue and pink this time. Because I've seen that on a few of them and they look really nice. Ooh, too much white everywhere. Oh my goodness. Okay, then I'll get a tiny brush. So whatever brush you have that's kind of small. And we're going to start going over the outside of this circle. Okay. Now, if for you, I think you'll have better results if you kind of do an initial white and then go in and water it down a little bit. So that it fades. So it's not super duper white. So hopefully you can see what I mean by that. It's like whiter on the outside and then it kind of fades in to the inside a little bit. Gives it kind of a ghosty look. I'm going to try and get just some white all the way around. this to be as thick as the first ones that I did that I showed you though. So I'm trying to go quick because acrylic dries fast. And get in there with some water so that I can kind of spread it. water is not very clean. It's starting to turn gray. Make sure you got clean water if you're going to do this, huh? So I've got this outer bubble going here, and now I want to add some color to it, and since I picked blue and pink, I think I'm going to do blue um, on the outside, and then some pink on the inside. So put some blue here, just going to blend it in. kind of going on that innermost line and the second line to give a couple more lighter streaks of bluish white. I don't want to lose 
that super um, white streak on the outside, but I do want to blend that white in there, or that blue in there, so I'm kind of going back in to mix it how I think it will look best. So I'm going to put some more blue on the opposite side over here. And for now, most of the highlights I'm going to keep on those three lines that I originally drew with my three different circles. Let me turn this light on and see. Now I can kind of see what I'm doing a little bit more. Now it looks a little too obnoxiously white, doesn't it? <laughs> I can't find a happy medium of what kind of light you're going to use at this hour. <laughs> Alright, so I've got some blue, and I've got some... white. And at some point I'm going to add some pink here, so hang with me. some pink. Ooh, look at that pink. I'm going to do some pink in between the blue. So now I need to go back and do the white highlights. So I think I want to make sure that my outside lines are pretty solid. As far as not being bumpy or anything, because I really want it to look round. And then on the inside, we're going to start adding some super highlights. So I'm going to um, start with kind of a bigger one right here. If the color that you did isn't dry, you might need to wait a minute so that you're not mixing it because we want this to be super white. Might even have to go over it again in a minute. Put like a triangle here. Just to kind of show there could be some lights up in the ceiling that are this shape or something. It's funny, I was drawing um, reflections in my classroom one time. <laughs> And, you know, I, if I'm teaching in a normal classroom, I've got uh, those white, like, sectional ceiling pieces, and then I've got fluorescent lights everywhere in my room. So, if you're doing, if you're doing a reflection in something, there's, like, 
you know, 16 fluorescent lights reflecting, so it would be like da 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 da. <laughs> but since I'm just doing my house, it's really not, it wouldn't be that many. good but I'm gonna go back and so I can brighten up some of these edges and then you might have to go over your white pieces again to make sure that they're the whitest they can be. Because that contrast is going to make it pop. Once you're kind of happy with your bubble the way it is, um, I'm going to put some more random dots here. Okay, so now I want to do like a shiny, a really shiny point, like a, like a starburst of shine. Like it's catching the light. I'm going to do that over here, and I'm going to do that by doing a circle first, about the size of like a pencil eraser, and then I'm going to come out really carefully, like that, oops, straight line. as I can. Turn this off again. Oh, there you go. That, you can see that kind of a little bit better now. I think I might need to do one more right here to be even. All right, so that's going to be... the center of our shine right here. And then if needed, you can go back over that as many times as you need to to get it super, super white. And there we go. We have a bubble. So then, um, my recommendation would, to be, would be to do some other bubbles overlapping. Like go in and draw some other circles, get some smaller things to outline the different cup sizes just so that you have several bubbles. And I would try and do an odd number if you can, um, just because that's more interesting. So there's the final product, acrylic on acrylic. And there's what it looks like with the light on. Woo! Yeah, man, that blue really shows up a lot better with that light on. To me, that makes me want to go in and get some more of the blue and just kind of add some more blue because you can actually see it in the reflection there. Add some more blue and maybe some more pink if you want to, just a smidge. 
I'm going to water it down so it's not super bright. done please upload it to art sonia under the bubble section and i can't wait to see how you do see you later bye